3.30 in the morning right now, and I just got back from the midnight showing up at the dark night. I really just want to go insane right now on how good this movie actually was, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that for two reasons. One, like I said, it's 3.30 in the morning, and there's people sleeping upstairs. I may wake them, and that make me inconsiderate. I don't want to be inconsiderate. And two, my neck really hurts from a concert I was at last night, so I maybe don't want to break it. But this movie was amazing. And I know people are always emailing me going, why, why do you always hate movies? All you do is bash movies. You're never pleased with anything. I'm hard to please sometimes. I'll admit it. And this movie blew me away. This is the superhero movie that anyone who's ever picked up a comic book has been waiting for. This beats every single superhero cliche ever that's ever flawed a movie. You got a good guy, you got a bad guy. That, this movie goes beyond that to a maximum extent that I cannot describe. This movie described show. This is the ultimate battle between good and evil. It goes... A villain always wants money, always wants a machine, always wants it. There comes a point in the Dark Knight where the Joker, we learn that he doesn't want that. He just, as Michael Caine earlier says in the movie, just wants to see the world burn. And it really just shows what superhero movies are about. It goes deep inside why, why they do what they do. And it is so well executed. It's absolutely brilliant how they teach that. Um, Christopher Nolan is one of the best working directors now. He's proven that this movie was just brilliantly done. The writing is flawless. The acting, no, it is not going to be a sympathy. A sympathy, sympathy <laughs> nomination. Heath Ledger is going to be nominated. Aaron Eckhart also did an excellent job. He might be nominated. Other people, maybe. I don't really want to get deep into that, but I don't want to hear some little douchebag say if he was if he wasn't dead, he wouldn't be nominated. See the movie. Look at his performance. He did brilliant. Dead or alive, he's a great actor, and he has proven that in this movie. He is was absolutely brilliant. In the first Batman, he, he was a clown. This is just this psychopathic creep. Every he, they don't overexpose him at all. I'm very pleased they did not show too much of him, and it was very well done. Um, every single scene that he's in is intense. This is a dark, grim, haunting, and very intense film. This is not for the little kids that like Spider-Man and go, Hey, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. This is a dark film, very violent. Don't take your little kids. Take yourself. You will love it. It is absolutely amazing. And I know people are going to roll your eyes at this, but i got to say this. Back to the Future has been my favorite movie my whole life. I made a strong oath to myself never to replace my favorite movie. Unless I see some movie that just totally changes how I look at movies, just a whole new level of awesomeness. I have not seen that movie yet. But I will say that I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put Dark Knight as my second favorite movie of all time. It was that good. And I don't have very many recent movies in there. I Like I said, I think really hard about my favorite movies. I think deep, in, deep into the movie, this movie was flawless. I'm just going to say it was flawless. It was brilliant, a masterpiece beyond belief, a 10 out of 10, no doubt. You have to see it. It is perfect. I cannot, words cannot give this movie the praise it deserves. So I'm just going to end that before I start crying. So yeah, see it. Just do it. All right. So yeah.